The St. Lucia Air and Seaports Authority, SLASPA, expressed confidence that upon completion, the Hiranara International Airport HIA redevelopment project will meet the demands of the aviation industry and rival neighboring Caribbean islands as one of the best airports in the region. Officials of the Ministry of Infrastructure, Ports, Energy and Labor, along with Infrastructure Minister Honorable Stevenson King, recently made their first official visit to the site. The visit provided them an opportunity to witness firsthand the progress of works being conducted. SLASMA's Communications and Community Liaison Officer for the HIA Redevelopment Project, Peter Lewis, explained that the officials were also profited the opportunity to make inquiries and witness the quality of the product in the foundation stage. We were able to, to walk the minister through for him to get an appreciation for the piling process, how far we've progressed in terms of how that affects the timeline in the a timely completion of the project, the fact that we've taken the environmental concerns into consideration to, to enact this project and to ensure that it is completed um, the way that we as St. Lucians and the wider world would be proud of. Um, also, the minister got a chance to ask questions firsthand uh, from the project site engineers and to, to witness uh, the true progress of, of, of the facility. And I think the minister left uh, very pleased and he was very happy. Um, but also for, for officials of the Ministry of Infrastructure, they were able to get a grasp of the full extent of what partners like CBRE, HERI and ECMC, who are also partners on this project, are doing and uh, to get uh, an appreciation for the sheer expanse and effort that it is going to take to realize this project. The communications and community liaison officer indicated that the airport project will meet international standards whilst providing all required amenities for a safe and comfortable experience. The airport project is on the way and St. Lucia will soon be able to, to experience the, all the, the trappings and and thrills of a, a new state-of-the-art facility and um, everyone is committed and excited to push the project through and so soon from now all of us will be able to experience greater parking accommodation and um, Wi-Fi and all the, the little things that we want, more space, more technology involved, cute systems and, and state-of-the-art technology throughout a facility which is modern and, and to allow us to rank amongst the best in the region. Minister for Infrastructure, Ports, Energy and Labor, Honorable Stevenson King, highlighting the quality of the works being executed, expressed elation at the progress thus far. He explained that significant progress is being made and with the noted improvement in efficiency, the project may outperform the expected completion time. We also realize that in the five packages, uh, the first package which is being done, it's on time. And once it's on time, then it means the next set of packages from the pile driving to the shell package, to the interior, to the air side and land side. Um, we are hoping that St. Lucians won't be disappointed, not only in the architecture and the environment that has been put together, but in terms of the, deli the delivery so that St. Lucian now can boast of having an international airport that is second to none in the entire Caribbean. The minister commending all involved parties stated that he is proud of and impressed with the work being conducted as well as the competency of SLASPA. Honorable King also stated that the project is beneficial on many fronts, providing employment opportunities for residents of the South. Already, the, the numbers that are being taunted here, the OECC Meridian has about 150 to 160 workers that they've employed. Uh, we're anticipating that we'll see an increase in numbers as they continue to do their part of the job. OECS, o, OECC has about 30 to 40 in number. So we're really speaking about 200 workers at this time. But of course, it's really the, the spill-off in terms of what is happening on the periphery of the, of the construction site in terms of catering and um, um, food. Uh, other services beyond that, you know, accommodation and, and the, the list continues. Uh, we will see certainly an improvement in, in the numbers when the other phases of the project commences and hopefully the anticipated or projected numbers that have been spoken of 
is anything near to 550, 600 persons being engaged during the construction phase. Beyond that, the other things will happen. The official site visit was conducted on the 10th of June, 2021. From the Government Information Service, I am Janelle Norville.